Well, Virginia's battle over gun control heating up as a state legislators prepare there to vote on sweeping gun restrictions. Residents of Governor Northam State expressing their frustration with the proposed laws, with some are some are threatening to create sanctuary against the policies. Here to react, attorney and gun rights activist Colian Noir. Colian, thanks for being here this morning. So, t break this down for people. What's happening in Virginia? There's threat of proposed new gun laws, and certain counties are saying we're not playing. What's happening in Virginia is people are tired, and, and it's not really only in Virginia, it's nationwide, and I think you're going to start to see this pattern take effect across the country, because I, for the life of me, can't understand why anyone would try to pass these tyrannical-type gun laws in a state where their flag literally depicts a woman standing over a defeated enemy with a sword and spear in her hand, and the Latin phrase, this is what we always do to tyrants, and then I'm surprised when you're seeing sanctuary states pop up all over your state. Well, Colin, but, but you've also got leftists that have taken control of the state legislature, and they're beholden to their far-left base, which thinks that you shouldn't have the right to defend yourself. So are, are you reaching a, a friction point where the majority of the state does believe what you said, that ultimately individual freedom is premised on the ability to defend yourself, but elites in the capital say, not anymore. No, and, and to be honest with you, we've been kind of dealing with this on a national level for years yeah. now. And you're, like you said, you're starting to see it come to a head now in Virginia. Um, because the, the Democrats have been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And, and after a while, people are like, look, this is a fundamental right. This is, this is what I use to protect myself. You may have armed security to go with you everywhere you go to protect you, but all I have is my Second Amendment right. Do you expect more sheriffs in certain counties to step up and say, you know, confiscation of weapons, if it comes to that, things like that, we're, not gonna, we're, not, we're just not going to play ball? No, I absolutely believe that's going to happen. And I think it's going to happen, continue to happen in Virginia. It's going to happen in, in, across the country in all of the states. The more and more they keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh, I think the point of reasonable discussion about this is long gone. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're right. Colleen Noir, thank you so much for your time and your expertise on this topic. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you. All right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice, and let them know you want to keep America tactical, because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.